The weightless environment of the International Space Station provides opportunities for science research that just aren't available here on Earth, and the SpaceX Dragon cargo ship launching on Friday will be bringing new experiments to orbit to take advantage of that. One of them focuses on growing protein fibers, such as those implicated in Alzheimer's disease, as a step in possibly developing better treatments. The experiment is called NanoRacks Self-Assembly in Biology and the Origins of Life, and the principal investigator is Dr. Sam Durant of the Florida Institute of Technology, who flew as a payload specialist on a space shuttle mission, or space shuttle missions in 1990 and 1995. Sam joins us this morning to talk about his new orbital research. Thanks so much, Sam. Uh, sure, you're welcome, Brandy. Well, why don't we start by talking about what exactly it is about the space environment that's so important to this new experiment. Okay. Um, well, when we grow fibers in the laboratory, they're affected by gravitational settling. In other words, they settle or sink towards the bottom of the vials that they're growing in. Uh, this affects uh, how the fibers interact with each other, and they eventually form like a tangled web of interlocking fibers near the bottom of the, of the vial. And in weightlessness, uh, this, will not, this settling will not occur. So uh, it will change the, somewhat the way the fibers form. Um, also, fibers' uh, growth process may be affected by natural convection. We're not sure. And that will not be present in weightlessness either. So you say they, they form tangled webs. Is that the self-assembly that the, the name of the investigation refers to? Now, if uh, you look at our image of the protein fibers, um, you'll see that uh, there are two images here. On the left is an early stage of the fiber growth process, and on the right is the, uh, a uh, 20 days or so, so it's a longer phase. And the fibers themselves form these uh, tangles in the bottom. And um, so I'm not sure what was your question about that. Uh, the self-assembly that, that's part of the oh, name no, of the... no, the self-assembly is the fiber growth process itself. In other words, there's okay. a, a, a protein powder in a solution, and they spontaneously form these long, thin fibers, which are anywhere from one to a few proteins in diameter and can be, which is a few nanometers, but they can be microns long. So it's this spontaneous growth of these fibers. They self-assemble from a solution of proteins into long, thin fibers. Okay, and, and I think you developed some new hardware to study that specifically. Um, what, what, why was that necessary? Uh, yes, well, the, the, uh, we want to study the growth process, and the time period is, is around 25 days or so to move from uh, proteins in solution to this tangled web that we find. And we need to sample it every few days. And we sample it, and the data we measure it is we, the, we use an atomic force microscope to image the fibers. And that's just not present uh, at present uh, possible to do on the space station. So we had to build uh, a device to do that. And uh, our experiment, our p a picture of our experiment, you can see there's a small uh, automated device that's designed to accomplish this study. We do that by uh, using nine individual vials, and each of which will incubate this protein solution for a different time interval. That way we can cover um, the time intervals from, uh, for 25 days at about three-day intervals like that. So we'll have a sample. And we don't start the incubation in each of the vials until we inject the protein powder into the solution. They're held separate uh, until they reach orbit. And then on each vial, a small stepper motor pushes the powder solution down into the, the powder down into the buffer solution. And then we raise the temperature to 55 degrees C and the incubation starts. And so we do that in a series so that we cover uh, intervals. And then when we get it back, in Florida, um, we bring it into the laboratory, and we can measure each of the samples so that we will have this time series. So is, is the goal that, that you'll be able to develop treatments for Alzheimer's and, and similar diseases? Sure. I mean, that's a, the long-term dream. Um, right now, the, what we're trying to do is completely understand the process of this self-assembly of proteins from solution. And there are many proteins that do that. The one we're using is... Um, a 
model that uh, is inexpensive and, and it shows all the characteristics of all the o other proteins that do this. And Alzheimer's is one. There are a couple of proteins that are implicated in Alzheimer's disease. They both form uh, protein fibers in the manner similar to what we're studying. And so once we understand that process, we might be able to then uh, lead to an understanding of the cause of Alzheimer's disease and maybe even eventually a cure or a treatment. Well, that would certainly be wonderful. We uh, look forward to seeing yeah. that launch on, on Friday and uh, hearing more about the results in the coming months. Yeah, we're, we, of course, are very excited and uh, you know, be delighted to share it with you when we get it back and tell you what we've learned. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This is again with Sam Durant, the Principal Investigator for uh, NanoRacks Self-Assembly in Biology and the Origins of Life.